Welcome to Sports Roundtable. I'm your host, Brandon Big V Hickman, and we're talking still football this week as we have teams in New Hanover County that are still in the playoffs. Going up to round four right here, Wildcat football coach Demick, New Hanover High School, 47 over 21 over Grace Creek this week. Yep. Big. And we talked about it, uh, little problems in the first quarter. Yep, first quarter we turned the ball over a couple times, and, and they did a good job offensively running sort of a high-tempo uh, wing tee uh, offense, and they were pretty good at it. And uh, so it took us a couple, you know, a couple series to settle down. Mm -hmm. uh, once we settled down, I think it was 21-14, they were beating us, and then we scored the next 33 points and, wow. and shut them out. So I was really pleased. You know, I thought we cleaned up some of the mistakes we made the week before in special teams. We right. obviously turned the football over a couple times. You can't do that if you're going to win championships. And uh, we missed some tackles early. But once we settled in, I was really pleased how we played the second half. So I was, I was really excited about that. Like we said before, since August to right now, and not to put the, the season in a box, sure. but that has been a thing. You guys have regrouped right. almost every game yep. and corrected. Right and went to the next game, and I think that's what's going. As far as the momentum with the defense yep. and, and the offense, once you get, and I said before, once you start scoring, you score, you score, you score. I know the defense is, has, has, plays a lot of part yep. in it, but you continue to 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 correct your mistakes that you well, have. Well, exactly, and a little adversity is always good, as long as you come out on the winning side of it, okay. just to see how we respond and, and sort of our mental toughness and our focus and those type of things, and I thought our kids really uh, did a great job with that on Friday night. Good. Let's see what happened Friday. Okay. Great Creek. So here early on, we've got a, 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 a little jet sweep from Makai Stanley. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I, I can't say enough about Devin Pelham and uh, Landon Ferris. You know, here's Aiden Brady, uh, Jaheim, all sort of doing a good job blocking. You know, I mean, you always yeah. talk to them about scoring points, but uh, really unselfishly taking care of business in the blocking game. I was really pleased there. I thought they did a great job. Uh, here defensively, a little buck sweep action. There's David McCallum. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. Jack Diedrich and, and uh, Jack Barbie all I thought did a great job setting the edge defensively for us. Um, here's a little screen to Chiron. He had a big game against West uh, Brunswick. But again, just the little things, those guys blocking on the flank, make them defend the whole field. Uh, I was really pleased about that. Um, here's another run by Makai. Uh, just doing a good job. A little, well, trap, boom, break some tackles. Wow. Um, you know, 38 yards later, 40 yards later, we score a touchdown. So that was a big momentum. That was our first yeah. score. Um, you know, he's really having a good year. Here defensively, um, you know, they, they had three backs that had over 1,000 yards and one that had over 2,000. Um, just doing a good job. I thought they ran the wing tee better than anybody else we've played in a long time. Mm -hmm. Uh, really disciplined and, and really focused on what they did. Okay. So I was really pleased with our defense. Here's Jabez Howard. Uh, he had a good game for us. A little power play, kind of pops it outside. Nice 20, 22 yard gain. So, so we got there. It was nice, you know, against West, we didn't run the ball real well. So I was pleased to run the ball better this week. Um, here's a little sweep with Jabez on the next play. Uh, does a good job cutting it up. And then getting to the sideline, getting inside the 10 yard line. Uh, we punch it in for a touchdown. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was really pleased again to get the, to get the running game going. Um, here, Landon, we're just going to fake a little off tackle play, and Landon's going to leak out, and he's going to make a great catch here in the back corner of the end zone. Um, uh, Chase, once he settled down, I thought had a really, really efficient game. Mm -hmm. But again, you know, with pass interference call, we still, we still got the touchdown, so I was pleased. Um, here comes another little jet sweep. It's Makai again. Um, again, he's look at the block and he's got scenes. We get him going in space. Uh, you know, their defense was kind of, you know, they, they played some pretty good teams and had beaten them. So we, we, were, we were thrilled to be able to run the football downhill against them. Um, here's just a little outside zone. And you know, Makai again getting in space. Um, you know, it was nice to be, again, to run the football, control the line of scrimmage. I uh, was huge here defensively. Um, I'm just doing a great job, not giving them anywhere to run, taking fullback, uh, creating a big turnover. Fumble, yeah. That was huge. Uh, we punch it in. Um, you know, I think we take a halftime lead of 28-21 into the locker room. And again, we didn't feel like we played really, really well, but it was mm -hmm. nice to have a lead going into going into halftime. And then we really played, I thought, really well in the, the uh, 
second half. Here's a little, little sprint out, backside post to Jaheim Marshall. Um, you know, boom, put the ball right where it needed to be. Um, that was right before half to give us that 28-21 lead. And then they drive down the field right before half. And just a great job there blocking the kick. Jacob Jones and uh, Josiah Shaw. Mm. Uh, but that was huge to, you know, preserve that 28-21 lead. And this is some second half action here. Um, you know, we, we, we really locked them down in the second half. I couldn't have been more pleased. You know, they, they got to have, they, they had a little room early, but after that, we, I felt like defensively we really shut them down. So I was pleased. Here's just a little swing. They brought a lot of pressure um, to Makai. Again, receivers blocking downfield. He breaks a couple tackles. Uh, you know, nice 20 yard gain right there. Yeah. He's hard to start with this moment. And when he gets going, he's 225 yeah, pounds. So moving he, fast. He does move fast. Yeah. Um, here's a little bootleg. Motion AB across the field. And a boot and they come back through the crossing route to Jaheim. Uh, it's not the best footage here, but Jaheim's wide open. You see him there. Uh, he gets, gets out about the five yard line, three yard line, and then we punch it in there for the touchdown. And this is just going to be a little slant to Jaheim. He's going to take a big hit. He's going to hang on to the football. So, uh, you know, we're really, really happy there that we got that done. You know, big hit here. Uh, he's just going to get the wind knocked out of him a little bit. He's going to pop up here in a second. He's going to be fine. Yeah. But his second touchdown of the game. And here defensively, just doing a great job. You know, they, they start on the five-yard line. I think they finish up about the ten-yard line, finish up on the five. Wow. Big sack here. Uh, and this is going to set up a block punt, which is going to lead to a safety. Um, but this is a huge defensive stand here. Um, you know, again, they were pretty good at running the football. Uh, you know, they lose five yards. And then here Rashad Rogers is going to punch through and block the kick. Um, great job here. We get the safety. Um, so that was huge. Here's a little quads. We're gonna motion Makai out. They're gonna do a good job covering it, but to do it all, they're gonna leave some, some running lanes here. And Chase is gonna take off, and I think this was third and 30. <laughs> and uh, we were fortunate enough wow. to get a first down. There's not a whole lot of third and 30 calls out there. Yeah. So I was happy about that. And then they stop us. And then, you know, Owen has just been so consistent all year. Uh, you know, here kicking a 43-yard field goal. Um, and he's been he's been done a great job. So really pleased we, we clean up some of our special teams mistakes. Here they drive down a little bit in the second half. Uh, they end up going for it on fourth down. We get a big stop. Um, I think this is the fourth down stop or uh, right here coming up, um, which was huge. Um, you know, get the sack and uh, keep you know preserve the, the shutout in the second half. And I think that's it. Big game this week. Yep. Lee County. Yep. You're going to go to Lee County, sure. the big city of Sanford. Yes. So your routine has been, okay, and we talked about it off, off camera, your routine is, say, I'm going to go ahead and look at this, this tape right now while, while it's fresh. Right. And then I'm going to meet with my staff, and then we're going to coach on Monday. Right. Well, so, you know, we, you know, I think every coach on the staff watches the film on their own on Saturday. Okay. And so I like to watch it, get up in the morning, watch it, and kind of let it simmer a little bit and mm -hmm. you know, sort of think through what you saw. And then we really come in on, on Sunday and carve it up and break it down and, okay. and really, really deliver it. But just the idea, what's the front? What are they doing offensively, special teams? Okay. So you can start thinking about how you're going to plan your week mm. based on kind of what they do. And they, yes. they've, got, you know, they've got the number two recruit in the country, a defensive end who's committed mm -hmm. to Carolina. they got a defensive back who's committed to Carolina. So they've, they're a talented athletic football team that's been really successful. So. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to have to play a great game. You know, we can't put the ball on the ground, can't miss tackles. Right. So we've got to have a real deliberate week of practice of mm. being intentional on what we're doing. That's, so. that's very huge. A lot of folks going to get together, get on the bus, I hope so. train, plane, automobile, there we go. and travel to Sanford to check out Lee County's game. Uh, Port City, get ready. New Albert County Schools there continuing on. This is the semifinals. The Eastern finals, so yep. When did you go to State Carolina, championship, yep. Right. Yep. So get ready. New Hanover High School, Wildcat football. Y'all make sure you're out there rooting them Wildcats on. Y'all keep it locked. We got more on the way of Sports Roundtable.
Welcome back to Sports Roundtable. I'm your host, Brandon Big B. And earlier we talked about Wildcat football tradition. We talked about um, the defense, how once the momentum starts going, it's the defense as well as the offenses that, that continue to score. Uh, and with us we have Coach Caleb Fuller, former Wildcat, right? Mm-hmm. Former traditional Wildcat, 2013, right? right. Uh, also former App State player. Shouts to everybody in Boone, if y'all can hear me, okay? Also, <laughs> the defensive line coach right now. How has it been transitioning? And I know, you know, you've matriculated onto college and now you're back home in, in Wilmington. But from coaching under the moniker of what we call Wildcat football, how has that been for you? A uh, blessing. Uh, you know, I knew from a young age I always wanted to get back into coaching because they invested a lot into me. And I know how important that is in the lives of young people. So right. um, there's no place I want to be right now. Honestly, I love Wildcat football. It's like you said, the tradition behind right. it, you know. My father always talks about the banners and broad, and we don't hang conference banners, we hang state championships, you mm. know. I wasn't fortunate enough to get one in my time, but you know, I want to, you know, hopefully invest enough into these guys where they have the ability to go out and chase championships. That's big, that's big. Going backwards just <clears throat> a little bit, you play defensive line. Yes, sir. At App State. I know folks say, did that guy play defensive line? How, how, how many times did you get that that, that question or, oh man, it, based off size, what, what, what did folks say? I mean, I still get that. Every time I say, you know, uh, I played an app, like, oh, you played DB or something like that. But, you know, we played a defense that allowed me to use my speed. Mm. Um, we played 3 4, which is the same defense we run at Hanover now. But, okay. um, you know, you got to play with, you know, I like to talk about like a dog mentality. Like, mm. you're not going to win every rep, but I'm going to win the next one. Okay. So, uh, you know, size is only a number. So, okay. you know, it's, it's the amount of heart you have when you step across those white lines and, yeah. you know, we'll see what happens. That's what it is. Yes, now, sir. the defensive coordinator is very close with you. Yes, sir. <laughs> and you actually are able to, to work under him and see, see his experience as your, your father. Yes, sir. Coach Fuller, how, how has that been this year? Um, I mean, it's been, like I said, a blessing. You know, this is my second year coaching with him, but, you know, he coached me all growing up, so I know how passionate he is about, okay. uh, you know, young men in, in the sport itself. Right. So, you know, he's one of the main reasons I wanted to be a coach, and I understand that that impact you have on young men. And, um, I mean, it's fun. You know, I don't right. take anything for granted because, you know, you only get so many Fridays. So, mm. But it's it's been a blessing just to be able to, learn from him and you know just right being a former student athlete from Hanover um a young man also that is working at New Hanover High School as well how's your relationship in the hallway and I have to ask that question because a lot of times uh, oh they go coach let me get out Uh, and and you can really influence a lot of young men that on the team say hey look man you need to go ahead and get to class right now like what's going on how has that relationship been you know, being in the hallways in the high school. <clears throat> uh, it's been it's been good. You know, I think I'm young enough to be able to really relate and you know understand that I was just in their shoes not too long ago. Mm-hmm. But I also understand the importance of the classroom and how, I mean, you can be athletic as you want to be, but if you're not taking the grades seriously, I mean, you can't go anywhere. So, right. um, you know, I always say things to them like, hey, get your butt to the classroom. You don't need mm-hmm. to be out in the hallway wandering all day. Right. Uh, yeah, I think they listen. You know, I'm not trying to be a, you know, just the police. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just messing. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you still gotta, you still gotta um, have set high expectations for them. And, you know, they'll they'll rise to that. So it's it's game day, playoffs, no playoffs, conference, no conference. It's game day. What do you say to your linemen getting ready to run onto the field for the first for their first series on defense? Well, I mean, you know, I think every game is one of the trenches, offensive and defensive line. If you control the line of scrimmage, uh, then, you know, you, you put yourself in a good position to win the football game. But, you know, I think Monday through Thursday practice is where you really instill that mentality in them. And mm-hmm. then I think Friday is just time to go have some fun. You know, you, you've done everything you needed to do to this point. As Coach Demick says all the time, the hay's in the barn. So, mm-hmm. you know, at that point, you don't want them thinking too much. You don't want them all high strung. You just kind of want them to go out there and 
rely on their training. So as much, just encouraging them as, them as much as possible and, you know, trying to lead them in the right direction. I don't think a whole lot needs to be said, really, honestly. Right. Right. I, I ask this, and I know we as, you know, me a former educator, you educating now, um, you're not supposed to say, all right, so I really like this guy. Or, I, I really like this young lady. They, they really get me going because they embody what it is to be a student athlete. Um, but I had some great players last week um, that, oh, that were on defense. Mm -hmm. uh, and who's that one player you think gets that team going on defense? I'd probably say... There's a couple of them, but I say Rashad. Um, he's our inside linebacker. He just plays with, you know, you know, you kind of need a, a dog at the inside back. Or I was, I'd say Rashad. I'd say um, David McCallum. You know, so, uh, yeah, yeah. I say uh, West in the back end. Just to, you know, honestly, we got some good senior leadership, mm. and I think that's what you know really carried the team to this point. So. Okay. I mean, we got some dogs on defense, and I'm proud of them. But I can't leave out my guy Jeremiah as well. He, okay. he plays no guard for me. But um, it's hard to specify because there's some good ones out right. there. Right, and and that that's what it is. Usually hard as as that coach, as that educator, say, hey, I, I like all of them. Yes, that's what it is. We'll be right back. We talking more football this week. Thank you, Coach Fuller. Congratulations. We're Thank on you. to the next round. Yes, Get ready. We'll be right back with more sports roundtable. Welcome back to Sports Roundtable. I'm your host, Brandon Big V Hickman, and we're talking Hoggett football right now. Hoggett went on up to Raleigh to play Wake Forest um, High School. Big game. Crazy defense. I was able to watch you guys in the studio at the station, right. and we were totally root. You know, we root for anything in Hannibal <laughs> County, so we like, ah! <laughs> and um, my night, my night DJ is um, from Raleigh, and he was just like, "Yo, they are playing, playing, yeah. man." And that was early in the evening, and we went home. But um, tough loss. Tough it, loss. it was. Um, our, our defense just played lights out throughout the night. You mm. know, Wake Forest is averaging forty points a game, yes. and and uh, you know it's six nothing at halftime. Uh, held them to two field goals in the first half. Both of those on short fields because uh, we got a punt blocked early, and we had a fumble. Uh, early that gave them the ball with a really prime time opportunity to score and our defense you know held up and 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 continued to put us in positions uh, for success offensively unfortunately we just couldn't quite get things going mm -hmm. um, put a couple drives together uh, give Wake Forest credit they they won the field position game throughout mm -hmm. the night you know we, we got pinned inside the 10 three times oh, wow. driving over 90 yards against that that uh, wow. That defense was just yeah. not something we were able to get done. So, uh, really proud of this team. It was a great year, um, tough year uh, right. of, of just different challenges throughout. But I think uh, as players, they grew a lot. As coaches, we grew a lot. Mm. And, and it, was, uh, it was a really fun year. I think we're going to look back, and this is one that uh, we all got a lot from. Hats off to you, Coach, and Hoggett football consistently from – August, end of August, begin September to right now, mm. your defense have stepped up. You Tell have you guys, what. 10th graders, you know, really playing. They all we'll played a lot field. of young guys this yeah, year. Yeah, and they play playing, playing. Yep. You know, let's see what happened Friday. Uh, so this picks up. This is actually right after the block punt. Uh, so you can see how, I mean, they've got the ball at the 10 yard line. So that's the first defensive play from scrimmage right there. Okay. You know, would have been real easy on that momentum swing. Uh, for them to, to make a play there, but instead you got Chris Redman right there leading, mm -hmm. leading the charge as usual. Uh, Bryce Nalapa and Jackson King, uh, three guys that were all over the field all night. Um, same possession. Uh, again, they've got heavy momentum off of the block punt, and, and I mean, you just see, I mean, the guys are just working to mm -hmm. the football. Wake Forest has some incredible athletes, and um, just, just really pleased. I thought we did a really good job defending our flanks. Uh, Friday night, which is something we've struggled with a little bit this year, but again, it's pursuit and angles. Coach Welliver and the defensive staff just did a great job drilling that in, and uh, I thought we came a long way. Uh, this is a, a early pass uh, completion to Tyler McCarthy, uh, tight end. Uh, sure wish I had had him for four years. He played his first year as a, wow. as a senior this year, multi-sport athlete, um, and, and just a, a great target for us throughout the year, but you know, that, that was one 
um, you know, early completion that, you know, that was a drive that was rolling a little bit and we stalled right there at the end. Um, back on the defensive side of the ball, uh, again, Wake Forest is really good at running it between the tackles and they try to get you to, to close in and take that away and then bounce it outside. Thought we had a really balanced defensive attack. Um, this is Brennan Lissinger uh, getting in there. Again, Chris Redmond, Isaiah Shelton as a Mike linebacker. Uh, played a, just an incredible game. Uh, you know, a little bit of an undersized player and he just kept fighting. This is Sam Jones on the quarterback keeper here. Um, you know, gets out, gets, gets loose and gets some good yardage for us. Uh, he, he had a, Sam played most of the first half, uh, or I'm sorry, he played all the first half and then we rotated uh, Gabe Johnson, so we played both quarterbacks and both had moments of success and moments of struggle. So uh, those guys just keep growing and, and uh, getting better. Um, that was uh, uh, Chance Courtney and Keaton Tucker pulling around leading that play. Uh, Rex Hardy on the jet sweep here. Mm -hmm. uh, good job cutting it up in there. Um, uh, Jack Thomas and Ethan Baggett kind of helping to open up things for him. Getting around the edge here. You know, Rex is an undersized player, but man, he has got, uh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> he's, he, he, he's got hard, he runs great routes, ball skills, you know, he's got, got kind of all those things going. Um, this is a little adjustment we put in during the game, just kind of seeing that they had some edge issues, and Marion Graham gets in there and starts running uh, just a simple toss play, uh, but we knew if we could hit it downhill, there was a crease in there, and, and, and he had several carries that uh, he was able to, again, to see him just having some wiggle right there and, and getting a good burst downhill for us. Uh, here's that defense with his back against the wall again. This is Jalen Allen. Uh, this is right before the half. Big play right there, okay? Uh, they, they decided to try to go up in the air and against Jalen one-on-one. And uh, just a great play, great catch. Um, he put himself in good position. Yeah, you got a defensive line that's trying to work its takeoff there, but but really that's that's a one on one lonely lonely yeah. position on the field. Yeah, the better and coming through with a huge play. I mm -hmm. uh, wish he had kind of fallen out of the end zone there, so we could have got the ball on the <laughs> twenty, get the ball on the two. But uh, but I mean, what a play to keep them out of the end zone. Yeah. Um, uh, again, on the defensive side of the field, this is the edges I was talking about. I mean, yeah. just yeah. again, no cutback lane, but no edge. Uh, that that's. That's a, a credit to, to the players and to the defensive staff, just putting a great game plan together. Uh, that's Desmond Fullard right there, number 53. Mm -hmm. He's a junior defensive end, and he has a big future. I, I think he's a guy who can play at the next level. I like that, and I like you saying that, Coach, and I like him tapping his, his lineman on, on the side to get him over. That was good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, here we go again. So they try to bounce it, come back, try a little counter play to okay. hit up inside. Uh, this is Jackson King, uh, Rover safety, sophomore. Uh, again, just a, a stud player for us, number 14 there. Uh, Brennan Litzinger, three technique. Uh, big night for him. Uh, yeah, I mean, just kind of, and again, notice it's kind of all on this side of the field. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we struggled offensively to, to get much of anything going, so you're punting from, with your back against the end zone. And the defense is getting the ball in short fields and just came up with stop mm -hmm. after stop. Um, great job. Coach getting a little multiple in the front here, going to a 3 4 look. Um, quarterback trying to scramble, and again, just the hats rallying. There you see Desmond mm -hmm. Fuller getting the football again, Chris Redman. Um, those guys just, just kept battling. Can't say enough about them. You know, we were, uh, I think the projection of this game was that we would get beat 41 to seven. So mm. it's six to nothing at halftime. Yeah. Uh, honestly, all the way up to the end, uh, we, we were right there in it. Um, this is a big run by Gabe Johnson. Uh, you know, just quarterback hitting it downhill in there, a little quarterback power play. Uh, really proud of the way he stepped in. He threw some strikes right away too. Um, we, had, we had some unfortunate drops in there, but it, it was ball hitting in the hands, you know. So uh, he came in. Uh, rotated in, uh, which was a tough spot for him because he's been our starter all right. year, and uh, rotated in. And I thought really did a great job. This is him to Trey Parks. That's a sophomore catching the ball there. Yeah, no. um, yeah. so he, again, a lot of young guys on this field, both quarterbacks. Um, you know, I 
left tackle there, Keaton Tucker, who's done a great job. Uh, he'll be back as a three-year starter for us. So, you know, very excited about where this team's going. Um, you know, and then the seniors, while, while their time's done, they, they did a great job paving the way. So, you know, those names that you've heard me say week in yeah. and week out. Yeah. That, that same drive continuing on. So, uh, Gabe Johnson right here, that's to Issa Baggett, uh, junior H back, and, and working at tailback too with a big time catch there. Yeah. And then uh, it comes back a little, um, little dig route here in a minute as well. Um, they did a good job getting pressure throughout the night. Um, and I thought Gabe did a good job there just stepping up in and, and again putting in the void that they were vacating. Blood route there. Um, you know, Gabe doing a good job moving the pocket. The offensive line you can kind of see here um, does a good job with their slide. They were a little late uh, defensively, but there's Keaton tailback coming around, kind of helping get things set. Wish we could have kept our feet there, but a yeah. nice grab by Chad Holler to keep the sticks moving. Like I said, it came down right there at the end. We're, yeah. we're driving down, could have hoping we could have got a touchdown there, a little onside kick, and, and see what can happen. Uh, but you know, it just wasn't meant to go that way. What do you say, end of the night, to the seniors, to the entire Harvard football, what do you say to those guys? Well, you know, I mean, the, the biggest thing to me is, and I try to tell them each week, is, is thank you. You know, mm. I mean, the, the, the time that goes into a football season, it's an incredible commitment. And this group uh, put in a ton of time going right. back to last spring, through the summer, through the season, mm. and uh, and to just continue fighting through some of the challenges we face this year, right. between player changes, coaching changes, injuries, all that, um, I just appreciate their efforts and and really thought uh, they grew a lot as men and as football mm. players. That's good. Yeah. Congrats on a great season, Coach. Thank you so much. We on the way to the next thing. That's it. Get ready, Hoggart football. That's what it is. And shouts out to all the Vikings doing their thing and supporting Viking football. We'll be back with more. Thank you for coming and tuning in every week. And we'll be back. We'll be back up on the sports roundtable right here.